Okay. I don't know whether this works with the audio, but let's get started. So given the code over here, we have a world class, which has one instance variable called step count of type int, and it has two methods, step and simulate. Both methods don't take any argument and they don't return any return value. Now assume somebody created a world object and then called the method simulate. And that's what we're now having to draw here in the right hand side. So over here we see the world object with its instance variable step count. After construction, this is automatically set to zero. And we see a stack frame, the gray thing here, which represents the execution of our simulate method. And in here we see all the parameters and all the local variables. The only thing we have actually here is this, because this is kind of like an implicit parameter or argument. It's always there for an instance method like this one here. And it always points to us because somebody called simulate on us and us is this object here. So this points to the world. We are executing this method on this world object. Now we're going to simulate what really happens when we actually execute the method. This is the state at the very beginning when the method starts running. So it's above the first call to step. Now we're going to execute this first call to step. Okay, so we're going to execute this method. What do we need to draw? We're going to call method step. So we're going to create a stack frame and the stack frame is going to be for method world.step. So we'll type that up here, move that a little bit up. So those gray rectangles here, they represent the call stack. It's like a stack of boxes starting at the bottom and then whenever you call something then you put another stack frame on top and when you return from that thing you pop remove that stack frame that's on top. Okay what do we need here? We need some variables in here namely this. Okay so we'll rename this and say this is this. So what's the type of this variable here? Well we are a method in class world, so we have to have the type world. And when this gets called, what is it initialized to? We don't see that in the code, this is implicit. We are in the world method simulate. We have our own this here. We're operating on this world object and now we're calling step. Implicitly this means this.step. So when we write step here, it's the same as saying this.step. Same thing. So this.step. So we're talking to this object here and asking this object here to make a step to execute the step method, which means the step method is going to execute on this object. So now what does the step method do? We start executing the first statement in our method. The first statement is step count equals this dot step count plus one. So we're going to evaluate this expression here, which consists of two parts, this dot step count and one, and they're added together. So what is this dot step count? Well, we are here. This is our stack frame for this method invocation, and this dot step count is referring to this variable and the value of this variable is zero. So we're computing this zero plus one gives one. So we have the value one. This expression here evaluates to the value one. Now we assign this value to the variable that's given here. What is this variable? Is it a local variable? No, there's no declaration of local variables here. Is it a parameter? No, there are no parameters declared here. What's the closest place we find step count? Up here. So that's actually also this.step count. We just didn't write this, but it will find it up here. So this.step count is assigned the value 1. So we are done with this line. And now we say we should draw the state, which is, we've actually done, at this point when executing the point for the second time. 
we've just done it for the first time, so actually we have to continue. Now we return from this step message. We don't have to write return. If a message has a void return type, we don't have to write return, so we can just return from this method, which means we pop or delete this thing here. Boink, gone. And we're back right after this step method. So the next statement will be this assignment statement. Step count equals zero. So we have a name here, step count. Again, we have no lo local variable declared in here. We have no parameter declared in here. The closest step count we can find is the guy up here. And we're going to assign the value zero to that. So the guy up there is this dot step count. So we're going to put the value zero in here. So we're just going back again and we reset our step count to zero. So we're done with this assignment statement and we go to the next statement. The next statement says this dot step. You can guess already we're calling the step method on ourselves on this, on this, this guy here. That's exactly the same as we did here. We're just writing this dot in front. We can, we don't have to in this case. So we're calling the step method again, meaning we need to create a stack frame for method world.step. And in there we're going to have an implicit parameter called this of type world, which is initialized to our world object. So we're back up here, we just entered the method and we're going to execute the first statement here. You know already how this works. We take this dot step count, which is zero again. We add one to it. Zero plus one is one. And then we store it in step count. So we store it in the same place. We just took the zero, we store this one. And now we would return, but we need to draw the picture at this point. So this is the end of this simulation. We're not going to continue. We draw the picture here.